Hey guys, it's Lisa here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some additional features that I figured out in the app called Power Director that I introduced all of you to in my trailer making tutorial just last week. So as I've been playing around with this awesome free app, I have discovered that there are more functions that you can use in the free version of the app. You don't have to go premium. Everything that I'm going to show you, I've been able to do that without paying a penny. So like I said, this is a, a free app. It's really great. You can download it if you're a Droid or a iPhone user, which is, which is also wonderful. Um, I know a lot of Droid users felt a little slighted that we didn't have like an equivalent of an, of an iMovie program. Um, so this definitely, in my eyes, is definitely equivalent at least. Um, and what I'm going to ask all of you to do is if you're not members of the Bitmoji Craze for Educators Facebook group, please make sure you join because in about a week, I'm going to be voting on all of the wonderful trailers that I'm sure all of you are going to make. Um, and somebody will get awarded in the comments the coveted trophy here for having the best and most creative trailer. So whether you wanna do it on, you know, going back to school, uh, health and safety precautions, missing your students, you know, make it funny, okay, if you want everyone to laugh, okay, if it's something that you would present to maybe your colleagues during a faculty meeting, uh, go ahead, be as creative as you possibly can. But before you go and you make your trailer watching the first video, make sure to check out some of these additional features because if you wanna win, you're gonna to have to go in strong and you're gonna to have to know some of these advanced features. So without further ado, we're going to get started. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my phone screen so I can go into my app. Just gonna take a second to connect. Okay, here we go. Power director. Uh, and just, you know what, I'm actually gonna go back really quick. Um, this is what the app icon looks like and it's called power director, okay? just in case anyone missed that. Um, if you did not watch the first video, you're gonna to wanna to go back and watch that as well. Okay, I already here, I have a project that I had started and that's what I'm gonna use, okay? Because I wanna to get to the point with this and I, I don't wanna draw out the video. Um, but you see here, I already have a project. Okay, I have plenty of slides and you kinda of like, as I'm moving this and I'm dragging this with my finger, even though you can't see that from the screen, I'm kinda of just moving this through, it's not actually playing. And there's all kinds of slide transitions here. Okay, I made these slides in Google Slides and then I just downloaded them as a PNG. Wanted to keep up that image quality. Okay, and then I uploaded them into the app and I showed you how to do that in the first video. There, I can even, like I said, in the first video, I added uh, GIFs. So there's a GIF in the background of there. I added some of my animations. And this was just a, a trailer for my YouTube channel, all the things that you can find on it. Uh, so once you add your, your images and your GIFs and everything you want to your phone, okay, once you have everything saved and you know what you wanna use, you just come into the app and in order to get these really great slide transitions, which I did not cover in the first video, you're gonna wanna come up here. So it kinda looks like a movie reel, uh, like some film and a music note, okay? And you see like this is all the stuff that I have saved on my phone, okay? And then here are all my pictures. So if I wanted to add another one to the end, okay, I'm just gonna come to the end here and I could go into here, Okay, and I can say that I wanted to add this. Okay, if I wanted to preview it, I could do that there. If not, I'm just gonna click the add button. Okay, and then that little box is gonna pop up in the middle, which is prompting me to add a transition. So once you click that box, okay, all of your options for your slide transitions are gonna pop up above. And again, if I wanted to, let's say where it says here, evaporate painted lines, okay. I can preview that. Oh, give me one second. Let's see, how about the triangles? And for whatever reason, this is not letting me use my cursor. So I'm just gonna use my finger here. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. That should resolve that. Okay, so let's say I was going to do dissolve. I'll try this one here. Once I click in the box, I have the two options. If I wanted to preview it and see what that would look like, I would just click the play button. And that's how the slide is going to transition. It's just going to dissolve pixel by pixel. Okay, and that's that. Um, if I was happy with it, I could then go ahead and I can click the plus sign. Um, this is another one of my favorites where it kind of just burns from one image to the next. Okay, it's really cool too. Um, you'll have to play with these because like I said, there are a ton of options here. And again, these are all in the free version. So no need to go ahead and pay for any of it. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll do the one that's called burn. Okay, now if I come back a little bit and I stop right, let's see, right there and I click the play button, you'll see that the very next transition that's coming up right now is the burn. So I heard we're all gonna be together again soon. Okay, and that right there is how you add the transitions. Something else that I did not cover in the first video that I would like to show all of you is the ability to edit your photos. So let's say I wanted to edit this. I had added it and then, you know, it could be a picture of anything, really, a photo of yourself, um, picture of your classroom, any, and depending on how you're gonna do your trailer is gonna be depending on the image that you upload. But once you click on it, okay, this is what it looks like. It pops up with that little blue square on the outside, okay? And if you remember in the first video, I said that you could lengthen or shorten your clip or your photo, how much time it shows by dragging that side of the box or the other, depending on where it is in your project. And then you're gonna come down here to the edit pencil and you're gonna click it. And then you'll see at the bottom, okay, you have a bunch of options here. So if you wanted to add a filter, okay, there are different filters. Okay, there's actually a ton of them. Okay, I can go back. And this is not the app that's fuzzy, it's just my connection from my phone to my computer. Okay, there's ones for scenery, there's ones for food. So there are tons of filters and additionally, um, if you go under effects, I could even kind of give this the, the Van Gogh look and, and blur it out a little bit. Um, there are tons here. I can just continue to scroll across, you'll see just how many there are. You can do the, the, the wallpaper one, okay? Uh, you could do, there's a kaleidoscope one that's really cool. Uh, so depending on what it is that you're adding, you might wanna do that and play around with that a little bit. Could be definitely fun. Um, there's a skin smoother. So if you wanted to smooth out some blemishes or something, there is that ability too. You can pan and zoom by coming in here. You can crop an image. So if there was something you wanted cropped out, you realized that you screenshotted something from your phone and then you could still see your, your battery on the top, you can go ahead and crop it. Rotating, you know, you could flip it. Um, and that's not the best example. Let me come to another one so you can see what that looks like. Um, okay, so if I wanted to flip this, you'll see it just flips it in the opposite direction. It's kind of like rotating in, in rotating an image in, in Google Slides. Okay, but you can duplicate an option, uh, uh, duplicate a uh, an image or a slide, any piece of your, your project here, once you click on it, or you can also mess with the duration. So if you had a standard duration you wanted each one of your little pieces of your project to show for, you can adjust that here. You know, I prefer to customize it because depending on the piece that I'm using, if it's a movie clip or a video clip, obviously I'm going to want that to show a little bit longer. So for example, at the end of my trailer from my YouTube channel, you see here, these are, are a little longer. I stretched them because I wanted an example of the types of movie trailers that you can make and it was actually using the software to, to play. It was a little longer. And same thing with my animations. I wanted my custom animations to be a little bit longer so you could see all of it. So I stretched that out as well. Uh, something else is if you come up here to the setting gear, okay and you want to go to audio mixing if you were going to layer sounds okay um you see here on the project line this was the the very first line where our transitions are if there was something with sound okay it's going to show it a, it's going to play at 100 percent sound 
and then in layers two and three, okay, the secondary and tertiary layers, they're gonna be at 50%. So if there was something where you wanted to mix two, two layers of audio, maybe your voice with music behind it, obviously you're gonna to want to be heard over the music and then the music playing quietly in the background. This is where you can go ahead and adjust those things. So I really hope that, hope that you enjoy the video. I hope that these additional um, things could, could help you to, to be you know, more creative when you're making it. Again, there's even more down here, depending on what you're doing to um, add effects and fading and making things transparent but have, have fun with it. I look forward to seeing all of the trailers that you post. Comment below if you have questions, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.